In this video, I'm going to tell you the, uh, the different ways to utilize a popover and then the summary portion. So I have created three ways that you can utilize a popover, but this is not the only three ways. There are a lot of things you can do and there is no limit to creativity. So you can use your cr innovation and do much more with it. So the first thing which is here is a custom menu set, of which we go in the browse mode, it will show that I have created three uh, fields in here and if I click on this this will take me to the particular layouts that is belonging to that uh, same name so you can create custom menu sets from it and the way it is done is it's it's a por portal inside a popover and this is a different table a related table that is a manual menu navigation and the field name is coming from a uh, uh, script that is fetched from the script which is set from here so whenever my startup script is running I'm f including that the variable names in that script so that's how we are going to fetch these things and the icon is set similar way and uh, according to the name of the fields the icons are getting fetched and when we go to the particular place that we place the button in here then it passes us a script parameter and the script parameter is depending on the name of that field so if I am going to the customer then it, this will take to my layout and I have passed my uh, script parameter as customer so that's why it, it's going to that layout and then it's ending it's a very basic form of how you can use custom menus there are a lot of things which can be done here like you can include multi-level customs uh, custom menus you can include parent child and uh, include toggling options and there can be a lot more which can be done so this is just a basic one and it's a way you can use the popovers so instead of having the normal fields we can now use uh, popovers as a different option for going to the custom menus for going to the menus the second one is how you can use the popovers as a custom dialog box so we have in FileMaker uh, the property to include custom dialogs which prompts messages to the user which we can set in the scripts but instead of using that we can create our own different uh, custom dialog boxes via popovers which can be done when I am clicking this button that it prompts me a message that I have selected green similarly if I go through this it prompts me a different message so the way it can be done is that you can create three popover buttons and and you can hide the popover buttons in such a way that it won't be sh it won't be visible unless and until it's open so the body of the popover is hidden the uh, the button part is also invisible the only thing that shows is this object which is inside the body of the popover and when you click on this the content shows and this can be done via script so when I'm clicking on this button it's passing my go to the go to object and uh, going to that particular name of the popover so my popover this one would be named gray and when I'm clicking on the gray button this is going to that particular but particular popover and it's opening that so it's a very simple script and it just goes uses the go to object functionality and via that we can go to there and we can use it as a custom dialog and again this is a very basic way to do that there are a lot of techniques you can use here the third thing is not a utilization but more of a, uh, a thing that you can use in portals so what happens that when we have uh, when we are using portals and we want to include container fields there is not a lot of spaces to to do that and uh, when we have popovers we can click on that button we can include that and now we can view the images as well so if if you have the need to add container fields this is an easy way to include the container fields and by just a click of a button we can add them so these three are the things that I have included in this video. Again, there are a lot of things that can be done. So I hope uh, this has been somewhat of a help in understanding and uh, creating more ideas on how you know, we can utilize the proper functionality. 
so the last thing is that uh, we can attach script triggers to popovers as i have already discussed then we can use web viewers inside popovers so that works and popovers will not be printed uh, uh, even if we are using the save as pdf option then the popover buttons won't come in there tabbing works in the, in the context of a popover that when we are clicking on the popover the and mm, performing the tab operations it works inside the context of that popover button you cannot use popovers inside popovers that is popovers cannot be nested and then lastly they can have slide controls or tab controls inside them as long as the button is not inside a port view so these are some uh, more information regarding popover uh, which you can later on use for your uh, designing portion or development uh, development so this is somewhat uh, of the basic details and on what this object is and how you can create them or how to utilize them and some more information regarding that so i hope this video has been a help in understanding what these are and that's the end of this one so thank you